Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. So what we've got to do today is Doc called from Stratford, a bison guy, and the crash gate is done on the front of our um, squeeze chute that we bought back in November. I know it's been a while, but Doc is a busy guy and um, you know he was building that crash gate for us to put on the front of this squeeze chute that we need. So he's got it done. We're gonna go get it. Also, um, you know what, it's middle of the day. I'm gonna let the video camera go and just see how these bison, um, you know, what do they do in the middle of the day? Um, I'm usually never here in the middle of the day. I'm usually, it's in the mornings or the evenings. Um, so, you know, they're pretty active in the morning and the evenings, but I think middle of the day, I think they're just relaxing. So I'm just gonna let the camera roll and see what you guys think. Well, hey, looky there. We've got the crash gate right here on the front. Doc Parsons at a Stratford Animal Clinic um, in Stratford, Oklahoma. A bison guy, he got us taken care of. He got us a nice big crash gate that we're gonna use. Gotta have this so those bison come through here. They're gonna pump the brakes on when they hit this. So um, we're gonna take this back home and get her set up and ready. Kind of the last piece to the whole um, bison set up uh, so we can work these animals at our own farm in sulfur. All right, stay tuned with us guys. So now we got our crash gate. We've got our squeeze back at home and crash gate is on. So Doc Parsons, um, a bison guy, did a great job on this. So now we'll be able to work bison um, here. this swivel across and let them out it's gonna be a pretty good system so anytime you have these bison handling systems you got to have this crash gate on uh, bison operate a little bit different than cattle do and um, when they come through this head gate they've got to be able to slow down um, because they'd like to once they see that tunnel they see that light, they want to run through it. And so that's what this crash gate is for, is to slow them down um, when they're coming through this squeeze chute. So um, kind of the last piece that we needed and I have that squeeze chute on and to operate the bison smoothly whenever we work them and uh, to try to keep them safe as possible um, and get them worked and get them taken care of. We're gonna set this on our platform um, on the foundation concrete foundation where we already have our squeeze chutes our um, excuse me our alley system this is a squeeze chute um, and alley system is right here
All right, take a look here. I know you saw us trying to set this down with a John Deere tractor, you know, but you got to do what you can. Had to borrow the, the, the John Deere from our neighbor. And uh, even with that big John Deere, this squeeze shoe is heavy. It's solid and it struggled with that John Deere. I mean, it was, it's, this thing's heavy. So we, we finally got it set, but um, we've got some shimming to do here. We're gonna have to um, balance these out. They're a little uneven, and that's simply because this is an old dairy barn pad. Remember, we tore that old dairy barn down, and then we have set our system on this, and we're gonna use that big pad. It's a big old thick concrete pad that you can tell here. But um, now we've got our complete system here. We've got our tub down here. We've got to finish. Um, and we're gonna put some more bar up. We've, we've, we've built it up a little bit more, made it a little bit tougher. Um, got some thicker pipe on it. And we're gonna sheet the rest of it. And we've got to balance these alleys. We're gonna balance the squeeze chutes and make it even. And then we'll be basically pretty much ready to go. So that's good stuff right there. And we're getting a lot closer and very thankful that Doc was able to build this crash gate that you gotta have when you work bison. So, and you'll be like, well, why do you need that? Well, at some point when we do work the bison here, um, you'll understand that and see it. If you want, you can go back and watch some of the footage of when I've taken the bison to the vet. You can see that crash gate on the front of that hydraulic chute and it's super nice and you'll understand why. Even you can go back and watch the sale um, whenever we were working those bison, what that crash gate is used for. So it's gonna be nice once we have ours uh, completed and we can work our own bison right here. Hey, Eleanor. What you doing? Calves are doing good, they're getting big. They're nice and fluffy here in the winter time. See mom, one of the moms, Quapaw, she's still hanging out pretty close. Keeping an eye on her baby as they're going through the weaning process. Still have sick Dakota. Uh, she, she's doing okay, she's hanging in there. We're trying to get her recover, gain some weight before we let her back out here with the herd.
hope you guys enjoyed the video today um it's nice just to see these animals and see what they're doing in the middle of the day what do they do with their lives you know we see them in the mornings we see them in the evenings uh checking on them but what do they do in the middle of the day and so you know what it's sometimes it's just it's just fun to sit around and watch these animals um you can see they're being lazy right now they're just hanging out resting um eleanor here is munching on some uh hay so just fun to uh watch these majestic beasts just hang out and and, and chill in the middle of the day and enjoy the sun and the and the cold weather so hope you guys um enjoyed also seeing us lay that hydraulic or sorry not hydraulic i wish it was hydraulic that manual squeeze chute down adding that um last piece that we really need for that handling system and so we're getting we're getting a lot closer so thank you guys for the support thank you for following um just it's fun to be around these cool animals and i'm lucky to be able to do that so if you haven't yet subscribe to us uh, you can follow us on instagram and facebook and you can check out our store online uh, i've got some t-shirts and some hats on there thank you guys